Gemini, you are up for the January Love Energy Reading. Before I go any further, KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on all the social media platforms. Okay, so and for those wondering, I'm wearing my hoodie because it is a little bit chilly. It's like 12 degrees outside and I don't turn my heat up really, really high. So yeah, it's called saving money and being conservative. So all the readings are up for December. We're still in December right now. So general love and money readings up. January, the general readings are up. Obviously, this is the love reading. After I finish with the love readings for all of the signs, I will do the money readings for all of the signs. Whatever reading you watch or listen to, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, don't try to make it fit. I'm just a person here reading energy and tarot cards. You know your story better than I ever could. Now that I've said all that, let's get into the reading. May I have the energy for Gemini for January? May I have the energy for Gemini for January? May I have the energy for Gemini for January? What is it that Gemini needs to hear? What is it? Okay, I'm setting that to the side. I'm going to set both of these to the side. What is it that Gemini needs to hear? May I have a card, please? Thank you. Okay, two cards came out. Let me... Okay. So the first card that came out is wedding. First card that came out is wedding. And it says, the situation involves... This situation involves marriage. Wedding. And then the second card that came out is stay optimistic about your love life. Stay optimistic about your love life. And it says, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. For some of you, that romance is marriage. Something that could lead to marriage. I feel for some of you, I don't know, it's like you're you're reevaluating things. For some of you, you may feel like something that you wanted before. I'm just making up something here. For example, Let's say one of your requirements was this person has to be at least, you know, five foot ten or or something like that. But now you're like, you know what, Al, I'm willing to date someone who's five eight. Just something like that. Like maybe some of you are reevaluating when it comes to your who you date. Now, I will tell you this. Don't compromise in the sense of what you feel is right for you. Because if you do, it's a possibility that it may disturb you later. The only time something that's right for you can be overridden is if you're in love. If you are in love, that can sometimes be the difference. Where something that usually bothers you, it'll still bother you, but it won't bother you as much because you're in love. So you're not hung up on it. Now, maybe as five years, 10 years, 15 years pass, your, your energy may change. But for the most part, if you're in love with someone, there will be certain things that just get on your nerves that you will mostly overlook them because you're in love. So going back to what I was saying just a moment ago, don't compromise or don't turn a blind eye to something that you feel could be problematic unless you're in love. And even then, it still has its limits. All right, let me turn over these two cards that I set to the side and let's see what these say. Okay, I can I can dig this. I like this. So first card is heart to heart conversations, heart to heart conversations. So for some of you now, okay, don't shoot the messenger. I'm just telling you the energy. 
in the cards. Something just said to me, for some of you, the reason that it's hard for you to find romance is because you're too guarded. Some of you are too guarded. Where you don't reveal much about yourself to keep the flow even. So to keep the energy going, to keep the conversation going. It's hard when somebody is opening up and another person is closed all the time. So that may be one thing that you may want to look into with doing that. So it says, honest, honestly discuss your feelings with each other. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other, heart to heart. The other card that was set to the side is playfulness. Playfulness. And this one says, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And this is the thing, like I said before, where some of you may be kind of guarded about how people see you. I, I just heard, too, that for some of you, the reason that you're guarded is because you're afraid that someone will judge you. And guess what? If they judge you, so what? Next case. Who cares? It, it's like either it's going to work or it's not. And people, you know, somebody told me a long time ago, she said, people are going to talk about you when you're dead. People are going to talk about you when you're alive. People are going to talk about you. So when it comes to judging, if they're going to judge you, all right, fine, so be it. At least now you see who they are early on versus later on. And then speaking of on, on to the next. It, it It's not a big deal if it doesn't work out. There's plenty of people on planet Earth. Everyone has a match. They really have multiple matches if you want to think about it statistically. But everyone has a match. So it's not that deep. Don't worry about who judges you. Just, you know, do what you can to be open when you deal with people and also to show there's an interest too. That's another thing as well that I'm getting to. I feel like for some of you, you don't show that you're interested. It's almost like you're trying to play it cool or maybe your natural personality is playing it cool. Like they don't see that, oh, this person really, really is interested in me. They want to know more about me. I feel like for some of you, they don't pick up that vibe. And maybe you need to work on letting them know, hey, I'm interested. Just throwing it out there. Let me go ahead and take some tarot cards right quick and let's see what else we get. May I have the energy, or let me rephrase, may I have the love energy for Gemini for January? May I have the love energy for Gemini for January? May I have the love energy for Gemini? For January, can we clarify the cards on the table? Can we clarify the cards on the table? Can we clarify the cards on the table? Thank you. May I have some more, please? Thank you. Thank you. Hmm. I don't know why I just heard something about a dating website. Um, and maybe it's because of this page of swords. I feel like... And now I'm getting something else. Okay. So, if some of you are doing the dating website thing, thank you. If some of you are doing the dating website thing, don't get caught up in all the options. If you meet one or two people that you're vibing with and you're going out on dates and this and that, don't go back to the dating site to be like, oh, well, let me go talk to some more people when you're already talking to one or two people. Really, two people. So, don't feel like you have to talk to like five people or date five people or get to know five people at once. It's not a good look. The reason that I'm saying that is because the King of Wands is here. Fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Now, if you're not in this energy, you could be dealing with the King of Wands. Now, if this isn't you, it could be this person where they're talking to a, a gang of people. Like they're trying to get to know five people at once. And I feel there's something online related because of the Page of Swords. 
which is air energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, specifically Aquarius. But um, I feel it's something digital is what I feel. Now, the other card that came out is the Hermit, which is Virgo energy. And, and this is about self-reflection, too. But also, it's about gathering information. Usually, the Hermit goes within. The Page of Swords goes out <laughs> and, and starts looking out to start gathering information. Possibly investigating. Now, for some of you, you may be gathering the information and determining, all right, what is the best course? So what is the best person for me? By looking at what you found. Let's say that you come across some profiles and you're like, you know what? I find these people interesting. And you may be debating, okay, what is the best approach when I, when I, when I initiate, there we go, when I initiate contact. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. The Ace of Swords is here. So this is about victory. It's also about a truth as well. It can be about information coming in. It can also be about um, cutting through any type of confusion or any type of illusions is what it can be about. I'll be honest. For some of you, this Ace of Swords is telling me either you will be speaking your truth or somebody else will be speaking their truth or possibly both. Is what this is about. Where some of you may finally be in the energy where you're willing to lay it all on the table. Because again, I feel like for some of you in the past, you just weren't that open with it. And because you weren't that open, the results that you received kind of discouraged you a little bit. Which is why this card is coming out. When it's telling you to stay optimistic about your love life. I'm tempted to title this open up to increase your prospects. Is what I'm tempted to title this. But I feel you will eventually be a little more comfortable with saying exactly what you feel. And letting the chips fall where they may. And this card just flew all the way down. Thank you. Okay. And now we have the emperor. As well. This is Aries energy. Some of you definitely might be dealing with the fire sign. And it also could be somebody older than you. Somebody who might be distinguished. As well. Because this gives me distinguished. So maybe. And then something just said uniform. With what he's wearing. So for some of you, this person might be in like the military or first responder, law enforcement, something like that. Or they could be a diplomat. But honestly, I don't know why military is on my mind. All right. May I have another card, please? Okay. Thank you. And then the seven of wands. So for that, which is more fire energy. Now, I'm going to throw something else out there, too. This could be it's kind of fun. <laughs> it's kind of funny because like I was saying, where you were kind of guarded before, I feel like you might be dealing with someone in the future who is guarded how you were guarded. But now you kind of are trying to let your guard down. <laughs> and now this person is the one who's guarded. <laughs> so. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it isn't that, I feel like either you or them could have very, very strong opinions. And something just says, stay away from politics. Whatever. So, yeah. But the title of this message is Open Up to Increase Your Prospects. That is your message. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. This podcast is carried on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Overcast, Bullhorn, Amazon Music, Audible, and several other podcasting platforms. Please feel free to listen to this podcast on whatever platform is most convenient for you. KIRWKC on social media platforms. Till next time, be blessed.